Antonio's most accurate forecast for zone weather. Well, Hurricane Arthur made its landfall along the eastern seaboard with tremendous tides and tidal surges and lots of rain and now winds up to 100 miles an hour. Let me show you this exclusive super high resolution satellite image. Now the reason it diminishes because it's a visible daytime picture, that's how we can pick up that kind of resolution. Then when the sun sets, it goes away. But that's okay. Let's go into another exclusive three-dimensional radar view of the storm as it gets past Wilmington and heads out into the North Carolina area and eventually up towards Boston. Let me rotate it around and you can see the eye very distinctively with that storm as it's hitting the North Carolina coast. Let's do better than that. Let's take you into the eye. There's Moorhead City literally in the eye. Then there's the Atlantic seaboard as it moves further up. We're going to measure this, and it measures 32 miles across with winds in that core now at 100 miles an hour. Let's plot it for you. It's a 36 point, uh, 34.6 north, 76.6, and you can see that we have winds at 100 miles an hour going northeast at 18, a pretty impressive storm. It will go out and offshore and come in and hit those barrier islands uh, near Boston, and so they're concerned with that. So they've moved some of the things they were expecting to do on the 4th a little earlier. By Saturday, it'll still be an 80 mile an hour wind headed towards Halifax. So in Texas, what's going on? Well, we still had a pretty good sea breeze and a boundary line that was eroding and falling apart just north and east of San Antonio. With it, it produced some pretty good scattered showers and thunderstorms with lightning and a little bit of hail. It also produced what we call an outflow boundary. Remember I mentioned about that little breeze that kicked in with 20 mile an hour winds. It also produces, you can see, some pretty good thunderstorms up around Gonzales County to the east of San Antonio. They're dying down relatively quickly. These are not going to make San Antonio, but they were very impressive there for a while, so much so it dropped the temperature to Gonzales at 77 degrees. We're at 76 tonight, but we've already dropped. I probably should adjust this because we've dropped about nine degrees here in the last hour or so. Four zone forecast says, you know what? Most of the rain is going to hold east. We're looking for just sunny skies, 91 to 95 out over the western zones. Maybe a spotty shower as we get up into the hill country tomorrow. Best chance of rain still up around the eastern zones with that 20, 30 percent chance for us. Maybe a late daytime shower like we saw today. Highs about 92. Then tomorrow, look for things to really kick up about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Widely scattered showers will not in any way impact your 4th of July celebration. There it is. Temperatures below normal. The only chance of rain is tomorrow. And that goes for lots of places with the exception of the eastern zones. You can find these online at news4sa.com.